Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Frenz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. Today I'm going to show you how to use the envelope uh, punch board to make a box to hold your cards. Uh, I saw a few different ones and of course I had to uh, make my own. So um, what i done is um, I put it bigger for mine so it's one inch thick and this is how it's going to open and I fit easy 10 cards with envelope in it but what I mean easy it's uh, the cards don't have no layers this is just a plain one sheet card that I done for thank you cards um, if you put layers I would say easy you're going to fit six in it uh, with the envelopes or maybe even eight so uh, depends the size that you want so I'm going to show you how to do this side this is for regular size card so let's get started first thing you want to use it's uh, a nine by uh, nine and a half by nine and a half and I started this one and uh, my battery uh, was blinking so I stopped so we're going to do a red one and I'm going to switch back to the green. I didn't have no more of the whole olives. So we're going to start nine and a half by nine and a half. Let me make sure you can see me good here. Oops, here we go. I think you can see good here. Okay, again, it's nine and a half by nine and a half, the piece of cardstock you're going to start. We're going to put that at three and a half bring your end there at three and a half punch and score and yes your paper it's longer than your board don't worry about that just stop where the board stop that's it now move your paper at five punch and score turn it completely 180 so this go in the bottom so your opening go in the bottom let's do the same thing three and a half punch score move it to five punch score okay now I'm going to switch back to my green that's exactly what I had done so now you get the bottom and the top done now we're going to use those one whoops right here we're going to use our score for our guide with this here this is our guide score bring it to your score never mind the measurement on top it's not important anymore punch score move it to your next score punch score turn it around and do the same thing your uh, guide there move it to your score line punch, score, move the next one, I'm guessing here because this is not, let me see if I can do a little bit more of this score here, here we go, now I'm going to be able to see it, you want to go as far as you can, so then you're going to be able to match that, punch, score, okay, we're done with our tool here. One thing that um, you can do, I did it around the corner, and I would round the corner just on the top one, because the rest it doesn't matter. So you can round this up and let me, because th this is the one we're going to put together, let me round this up. Okay, now let's remove this, because we are done with this. Now, what you're going to do, it's reinforce everything. Don't cut nothing yet. Just reinforce all your score. Remember the envelope where we're cutting the thing. Right now, we're not. Okay. And I cut the wrong one because this is my uh, top because I don't want my box to stand up. You could make it stand up, but then it fall kind of funny there. I got one that I started and I'm going to show you. See this one because I want to keep the tab, you know, so then it closed good. But see, it closed kind of funny even if I put that there. 
I it's not as nice I like it open the other way you can do it both ways but so okay let's bring this back let's do the one of the top or whatever here we go okay now we know the one with the the rounded edge it's our top so the top we need to take those little flap completely out so take those little flap out just on the top one take this out okay I cannot go in the groove here here let me remove this cord line here we go so this here it is the top of your box the bottom of your box you want to keep the tab you're just going to cut straight and cut straight this here you keep this that's going to secure so it's not open in the bottom now I don't like a pointy on top here I really don't like that so what I'm going to do is take your paper cutter I don't need the handle bring your first score at two and a half so this is your line of two and a half bring your first score make sure it's lined up lined up and cut this little piece off so then when you close your box it is straight there I think it look better so now what I would do with this before you put it together it's very important to stamp it because it would be kind of uh, not so fun to stamp it when your box is together so what I did I stamp like I said the cardstock it's in um, all olive I stamped my leaf from Bess of Autumn in Cajun Craze and in Sarah Sand I use the off the grid uh, stamp set. So that's how I stamp this to do a fall card. Now, always when you use, uh, uh, you know, like 3D and that, I say use the red sticky strip. I'm kind of busy right now, so I'm just going to use that. But if you want a more solid box, what I mean by the red sticky strip is, I don't have any up here. It's the, the tape that the red part it's hard to remove. So you're going to take this, oh, before I do this though, because this is going to go down, this is going to go up. You want to put snail right here and right there. So use your snail, because after you put your tab, it's hard to reach. Don't put any on this part, okay? I'm going to put it there. So now, you're going to take this, and it's very important to take the score line off so it don't look funky on the side. Could it take a little bit more here? You know where it grooved down for the score? You want to take that down. Okay, bring this up and match that right at the edge there. Oops. And then I just push my tab. So then you don't have no opening there. Your little tab, make it all closed there. Reinforce that. Do the same thing on the other side. There. Okay, now take this. Make sure this is at the edge. And then this at the edge. Whoops and reinforce this put your hand inside and that's where I would put this uh, red sticky strip because it's a lot more solid than this nail after it's not strong enough so now voila I got my box and this here it's a little bit too much well that it's a good thing when you do snail you can fix your box if I would have the red sticky strip then you use your embossing uh, heat gun for and then it melt the tape and then you can peel it apart okay now it's much better okay now that I got this I use I think it's one inch yes I use a piece of uh, early espresso cardstock this is the coordination one I could emboss it uh, I like the texture on it it's one inch 
by 12. I'm using the 12 and you need 12. 11 would be too tight. What I did, I just put this on my um, box and I went this way. Close my box good. Reinforce, reinforce and then I a little line a little line. I don't measure it. The reason why it seems every time I measure I'm off. So and then I take this reinforce where I did my little mark. Make sure it's straight so you see each side. Reinforce and do that on all of them. Now I'm gonna say let's use a glue dot on this. Again red sticky strip would be the best. Uh, right now the glue dots are handy for me. Okay, we're going to take this. I want this in the front though, so I'm going to put this in the back. Make sure you match this good. And you want to put it loose a little bit so you can slide it in, in and out. It, it off, you know. You don't want it too tight. Now, I pre-stamp and pre-cut so it's going to go faster. And I had more than that. Oh, I got another one here case if I want to put three. I, that's the leaf in the best of autumn and what I did on Very Vanilla, I stamp it in Early Espresso and then with my dauber I just sponge some old olive and then some Cajun craze. And you're going to say well you're going way off your, um, your leaf there. It's okay because you know what? Voila! When you're going to cut this, it don't even show. So you can go off like that. So I did three of them and cut them out. Now we're going to take, um, and I did one of those wood button with the, not the baker's trine, but just the, the linen thread. And I put my uh, flower, uh, not my flower, but my bow. I tied my bow there. I'm going to put this right Let's first, let's do a leaf there. Remember, you cannot glue your leaf on your box, just on your, going to put one there, just on your belly band. And I'm going to put, here we go, another one there. And now I'm going to take this, Put this right there. Now I get another leaf here. I can slide right there. So I'm going to put another glue dot. Could be a little bit higher, I think. Here we go. Much better. Voila! So now you get your lovely box, very simple, and then you can just slide this off. Then I would take my cards with my envelope that match. While you stamp, you might as well stamp your envelope that match. And look, see, I, I still have some space there. So you could fit plenty. And then I would take this my belly band after it's put together then you just slide it on and off this is it how you do your box with your um, scoreboard hope you learned something new and for more information visit my blog at frenchystamps.com thank you so much for watching and have a great day